government's commitment towards the fight against illegal mining, popularly referred to as Galamse, has come under public scrutiny after reports of some 500 seized excavators uh, went missing. In the following news desk report, Salama Menya takes us through what has transpired since the ban and President Kufuado putting his presidency on the line. TV3 sources can confirm that leader of the special team set up by the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining to monitor, investigate, evacuate and arrest persons involved in illegal mining, Nana Yaobwedu, is currently assisting the Police Criminal Investigations Department in unraveling the mystery surrounding the missing excavators. Nana Yaobwedu has maintained that the team will expeditiously investigate and make sure that everyone involved is brought to book. The CID earlier picked up six persons in connection with the 500 missing excavators and equipment being used for illegal mining seized by the Operation Vanga Task Force. The suspects include the suspended Central Regional Vice Chair of the New Patriotic Party, Horace Ekoyusi. The suspects have been cautioned on the offence of stealing and abetment to steal. The CID also picked up the Aguna West constituency chairman of the new Patriotic Party, Kujuadu, for questioning. Inside sources say the Aguna West constituency MPP chairman is the right-hand man of Horace Ekoyusi. These developments have ignited the conversation on whether the fight against illegal mining, known as Galamse, was successful. The Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation Minister, Professor Frimpon Boatin, thinks the fight is 70% won. On a scale of what, I think we've, I would say seven. It's, it's not been easy, but even the miners themselves, if we go to the communities, they'll tell you if the president had not initiated this action, maybe we'll have big problems in, in Ghana. However, the conditions that triggered a ban on small-scale mining operations in Ghana in January 2017 persist as the Ghana Water Company struggles to treat water at its intake point at Dabwasi in the western region as a result of illegal mining. During a visit to the plant on Wednesday, the company stated it is producing 3.5 million gallons of water daily instead of the 4.8 million gallons it should produce at the treatment plant. If you look at the color of the water, it tells you that we have a lot of uh, silt inbuilt and we also have the turbidity, uh, the turbidity very high. So even if you draw the water, you are going to uh, take uh, part of it, you are going to throw part of it uh, away. Many have asked whether the president meant what he said during the crackdown on illegal mining after severe pollution of water resources and degradation of the country's forest cover. President Ikufado in July 2017 put his presidency on the line with a commitment to end the illegal mining. Rallying Ghanaian traditional leaders together, the president said if there is one right thing to be done, that thing is for all to fight Galamse, reclaim the land and live for prosperity, a green country and a clean space. I've said it in the cabinet and perhaps this is the first time I'll be saying it in public. I am prepared to put my presidency on the line on this matter. At the anti galamse forum, the president made his intention on the Galamse fight clear. I've heard it being said that uh, oh, I should be careful. These, some, many of these people voted for me and if I continue this exercise, perhaps they'll not vote for me again. If This is a choice that all of us have to make as human beings. You do what you think is right, or do you do what you think will allow you to get along? President Ikufuado in August 2019, at a meeting with the Council of State in the Jubilee House, said the mining law was amended to give stiffer punishment and take away the discretion of judges who gave offenders minor sentences. We're talking about minimum sentences of 15 years, um, maximum 25 years we have increased the punishment for foreign and who foreigners who intervene illegally in this industry we've had to take away some of the discretion of the judges <laughs> meanwhile the minority in parliament has served notice to haul environment science and technology and land and natural resources ministers 
before the Mines and Energy Committee over the missing excavators. The law was put aside and the minister, Professor Frepon uh, Boati, decided to have his own law as to where the excavators should be put because of the intention to ensure that these excavators get vanished. Salom Amenya, TV3 News, Accra.